I think the big question is how do we experience the world? What can we learn about the way we experience the world and how can we apply that to all the things we do? I work on a number of different areas, but the theme that ties it all together is perception. So I'm interested in how we see things and how we feel about things and then how that influences what we do in terms of technology and the way we interact with technology. I started off my career as an archaeologist, so one of the things I work on is cultural heritage, so I apply that to archaeology and look at how we can recreate past environments and get a feel for what people would have seen in the past when they lived there. I work in human-computer interaction, so one of the things we're looking at at the moment is a mobile device like smartphones, touchscreen smartphones. We're looking at ways that we can optimise people's interaction with that, so we can make the way they use them much more simple and easy. So my research is really interdisciplinary, which is one of the things that's really striking about Goldsmiths. You get the chance to meet people doing so many different things and you get to work alongside people you never would have thought of. So in my case, um, I work in archaeology, but I apply computing to that. Um, so it kind of bridges the gap between arts and science. I work with PhD students here and they play a big part in my research. In fact, it's, it's really their research that, that helps to shape mine, so they make a, a really big contribution. My PhD student, Karsten, is working on uh, how we optimise using a mobile phone with one hand because quite often people are standing in the street, they might be carrying a bag, uh, they might be holding onto something on the bus of the tube. and. Um, we see quite often that people move their thumb in order to, to use their phone. So he's been looking at ways of optimising that, making an interface to enable people to do that in a much better, more simple way. One of the things that I'm really interested in is women in computing today because women have been at really uh, behind some of the major advances in computer science. The first computer programmer was a woman, um, Ada Lovelace. The first compiler was, was written by a woman, um, Grace Hopper. And you know, there's, there's these massive contributions that women made in the early days, like the patch cable operators on the early computers. And yet somehow it fell out of favour and women suddenly weren't making those, those contributions anymore and weren't getting the chance to. And now the time has come where women can get back into that and do those things again. What excites me is the idea that I can just follow these different paths and there's no one telling me what I can and can't do. As a researcher I get to make those choices and I think one of the exciting things is seeing the work that I do and how it shapes future technology.